What's the good word, y'all? Welcome to New York Jazz Syndicate channel. It's your boy DKB here. So I wanted to explore a conversation that came up around a potential uh, trade request that can come up. <clears throat> this doesn't have to happen during the preseason. This could be as close to the trade deadline. But Makai Becton is once again uh, the center of this particular news. So there's a situation where we know uh, per the unofficial depth chart, Makai Becton's listed on the right side, making Dwayne Brown the de facto left tackle starter. Makai Becton could still go out there and win it, to be honest, but it doesn't make the most sense in terms of the versatility we have in the offensive line room um, and potentially who may be better there right now. Um, so there's a world where Dwayne Bra Brown is the left tackle starter for the season. On the right side, there's a bunch of different options. Do you want to move AVT? I wouldn't suggest it. Can Max Mitchell go out there and show that he could be a capable right tackle starter? Maybe would Makai Becton, who potentially will need to go to the right side, refuse to play in that situation? Maybe we uh, start taking a look at uh, him being benched um, for not being able to help out the team. Right. We still keep him on the roster, but that could lead to a situation where Makai Becton ultimately requests a trade. He pulls the Orlando Brown card. He knows he's a left tackle in his league. He wants to play at that position. The New York Jets aren't honoring his request either because he didn't win the competition or because they don't believe in the health and maybe the skill set there uh, at the moment. Who knows? But contract year, Makai Becton obviously is going to want to go out there and put himself in the best position possible. We could actually be looking at this situation in a, a couple months where Makai Becton isn't on the team anymore, uh, especially if we do find some level of comfort in the tackles that we have lining out uh, uh, Dwayne Brown as the starter with Max Mitchell, a guy like Carter Warren that's in the works back there. Um, and so who knows how that potentially plays out um, and what kind of return on investment that we would get former first round pick top 15 um, health is going to be a huge concern for all teams across the league, but to this day and age, you're going to get guys that are going to drill over that, drool over that skill set, that build that he has, especially what he's recently been able to do and transform into uh, and think that they can go out there and get a steal for pennies on the dollar. So uh, I'm not even sure, you know, a day two pick would be in question for a guy like Makai Becton. I don't think Joe Douglas would trade him away for nothing. We've seen him hold on to other guys, um, Elijah Moore for the season, Denzel Mims. Uh, so there's nothing saying that he would absolutely cave in. But we may need to start preparing ourselves for a situation where Makai Becton isn't feasibly on this roster, um, not even after this season, but before this season is even over. So let me know where your guys' thoughts are on this. Uh, can he force a trade uh, to get into a position that he wants to be in? Or will this ultimately be a Nolan Boyd conversation because he'll win the left tackle spot uh, and stay healthy and we won't have any further concerns other than if we will extend his contract or not? So looking forward to it and I'll catch you guys again. Peace.